I just got the best sunrise shots ever in my life. Yeah. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be sharing with you on my experience as traveling to one of the well-known hotels called the Pankola Resort. It is located in Pera and is owned by YTL. You can get to Pankola Resort via car or even bus. So from KL, I would suggest to use the Plus Highway instead of the West Coast Expressway due to the road conditions. It took me 3 hours of driving to reach there with toll fares of around 30 ringgit plus plus two ways and that is from Putrajaya to Songkai Trolla exit in Perak. You can navigate to Marina Island Jetty and once you arrive there, go ahead and park your vehicle around the area and be sure to prepare some cash for 25 ringgits per day for parking. As well, don't forget to pre-book your boat transfer before you arrive just for your own convenience. I was so lucky that day to instantly got a boat without the need to wait for another half an hour thanks to this uncle. And we got the whole boat to ourselves, which is super dope. You can book the room via the Punko Lot Resort official website through phone call and some other third-party websites like Booking.com and Agoda. Pro tip, be sure to have yourself registered because you'll likely be getting more discounts through their website. We have just want to head out to my room and let's talk about accommodations. Based on my research, there are actually 7 different types of villas to choose from but I don't have everything in my shots so I can shoot a few of them only. We have the Garden Villa, the Hill Villa, pretty much the same as the Garden but with stunning views. The Beach Villa facing the beachfront. Sea Villa for Honeymooners As well as more premium accommodations like Spa Villa, Surya and Purnama Suites, Pavarotti Suite and The Estates We stayed in the Hill Villa in room 350 and this is how the room looks like If you guys need to use the shuttle, um, the turnaround time would be 15 minutes per shuttle. So if you are somewhere in the receptionist area, just have to wait at this roundabout thing behind me here. So I'm actually heading to Emeralds Bay now and let's find out together how Emeralds Bay looks like. So we're back again, live from this village. Everybody is having breakfast now. We had, we just had our breakfast. So the selections are okay. They serve nasi lemak, roti canai, and I remember some juice, as well as, of course, sandwiches and all that. So I've met one of the uh, staff. His name is Israfil. He's very cool. I met him in um, Emerald Bay yesterday. So he was kind enough to give me a juice like a special juice the juice is pretty good so if you guys want to try the special juice you just go to the counter here 
So besides the Feast Village, they also have more restaurants as follows. So in terms of water sports activities, you can see at the back here, there's a sport recreation center or something like that. They have like kayaking, paddleboarding, um, even snorkeling, but you, you just gotta have to watch how's the tide going to be. So they'll basically you know, advise you on that. I could see also some jet ski, but I'm not sure if it's from here. You just go to the, to the to the site here and just go over there and ask for your activities and you're good to go. Good morning guys. So this is it. The day of hunting some sunrise shots. Yeah, but the question is where would it be? I just need to go down and find out I think. And they just killed the lights. So if the sunset is at the Emerald Bay area, which is the opposite side of the island, that should make it rise on the front area of this island. So guys, apparently the sun is rising at the other side of this resort's entrance. So the entrance is right over there, where the pier is. And like I said, uh, you can already see you know, the orange layers of light over there. On our last day in Pankolak Resort, we went to Emeralds Bay again just to feel that chill vibe and to have our early dinner at Chapman's Bar. I feel like I need to show you guys how the toilet looks like. So guys, I'll be ending this series uh, on this beautiful sandy beach here, even though it's really hot outside. So if you guys are new to my channel, my name is CZ, I'm a hobbyist photographer slash videographer. So if you like my videos, please help me to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. It really helps me a lot to create more contents like this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching this. I really had an incredible experience here in Bacolot Resort from the amenities, the facilities, the friendly staffs and those stunning views. I highly recommend this place for you guys.